here we have an optimization problem where it's asking us to um, maximize the area of this uh, window, which is a semicircle with a rectangle, um, and also and solve that when the entire window's parameter is four meters. Okay, so first thing I want to do is just remind us about area and perimeter of all these surfaces. So just real quick, we have a circle, and remember that his area is equal to uh, pi r squared, r being the radius, or we'll just call that d instead of the diameter, which is pi d over 2 squared, right? And the perimeter of this is equal to 2 pi times d over 2, which is simply equal to pi times d, right? But of course for ours we only have half the circle, so for this top portion of the, of the shape that we have, our area is going to be equal to pi d squared over 4 times 1 over 2, which is equal to pi d squared over 8. So that is all this area in here. And then also our perimeter. Our perimeter will be equal to p is equal to pi d over 2, because again, that's just one half the circumference. So those are those two values. All right, and then let's open up a new slide. All right, and so remember we have the shape here. And for this, the perimeter is equal to d pi d times pi over 2. The area is equal to d squared pi over 8. Okay, and now what about for the rest of the area, this area that I'm going to highlight in red? Well, for this one, we're going to call this distance here d and this distance h. So the area of this region here as you know, simply be equal to area is equal to h times d, and the perimeter will simply be equal to d plus 2h, right? So that means for our total areas, sorry, I'm shrinking that whole thing, but that's fine. So for our total area, our total area is equal to area is equal to d squared times pi over 8 plus h times d and our total perimeter is equal to d pi over 2 plus d plus 2 h great all right so we have two equations and two unknowns unfortunately but we have a really nice piece of information that they gave us and they told us that this total parameter is equal to 4, right? And so with that, we can solve for, let's say, h in terms of d, right? By just rearranging using some basic algebra. So when you do that, you're going to come up with h is actually equal to 2 minus 1.29d, right? And so with this new equation of what h is equal to, we can plug that now in to our original, our original area equation, okay? So now I'm going to say that the total area is equal to d squared pi over 8 plus d, right? Because we have a d here. And then we have to put this h in from here. So that's going to be 2 minus 1.2. 9d. Great. And then we can simplify all that. Oh, that stink. 
Thanks. Sorry about that. Can you still read that? No, okay, we'll just leave it like that. And then we can simplify all that to be area equal to negative 0 0.8927d squared plus 2d. Okay, so now we know what the area is. Remember, the area is the thing that we're trying to maximize, right? So, let's bring that equation back. We know that this is our area, all right? And so, as you remember from what you hopefully learned in your maximization lesson, if not, that to maximize something, we just need to figure out when its slope is increasing and decreasing. Remember, the slope of something is the derivative. So what I'm going to do here is the derivative, 8 prime, and that's going to be equal to negative 1.7854d plus 2. All right? And so the derivative tells us if something is decreasing or increasing, or decreasing or increasing, right? And so when we go in and we find out when things are decreasing, we know there's a minimum. When we find out when they're increasing, we know that we're at a maximum, right? So we're looking for this maximum. So we're looking when it goes from an increase to a decrease, which happens when this velocity right here goes to zero. Because here it's positive, here it's negative. It must pass through zero sometime in between. So we erase all that. Erase, erase, erase. So what that means is in order to find the maximum area, we need to set this derivative equal to zero, right? So now you can use some basic algebra. You're going to get that 2 is equal to negative 1.785d. Then the d, oh, excuse me, that's a positive. d is simply equal to 1.12. All right, that's really good. So we figured out a major value, right? But what about, we still need to know what h equals to, because they asked us for the area of our entire rectangle, right? And so we know that d was here, so this is equal to 1.12. But what about h? Well, remember from our perimeter equals to 4 thing, we, we made the equation that h is equal to 2 minus 1.1285d. So we can just plug d in here, solve, and you'll find that h is equal to 0 0.56. Right? So uh, 0 0.56. Six. So obviously this is not drawn to scale because this is actually, oh, excuse me, this is actually longer than it is high, okay? And then what you can do is go ahead and plug that into your original area equation from the first page. The area equation was d squared pi over 8 plus h times d. So plug in this d, this h, and you're going to find that your area does in fact equal 4, which is what we needed to. So I hope that clears everything up. You use your derivatives to find your maximums, and you sometimes need to rewrite equations using some given information. In this case, the given information was, um, was the total perimeter. So thanks for using Quexter, and we'll talk to you again soon.